if you're planning to go on vacation this summer, you may be all about, of course, relaxing and having fun. Who doesn't want to do that, right? But don't let your guard down too much. And here's why. Because you could become a victim. And here to tell us how to be, avoid becoming a victim and a, uh, a victim to scams and thefts is Bob Arno. He is a professor of pickpocketry. I love that title for you <laughs> because you really have been up to a lot of fun stuff in the studio. I say fun because we know you're having fun. Yep. But for the folks out there who do go on vacation, it's not so fun. No, if when you're you the victim, there's no fun though. at all. No. Right. It's only fun for those outside who are looking in. But if you are the victim, no, there's no fun whatsoever. Yes, I am a professional pickpocket, mm -hmm. but people should understand I return things. I do it on stage in front of thousands of people. But my claim to fame is not my performance part, but that I infiltrate various pickpocket gangs around the world, and I use that information to teach law enforcement in roughly 30 countries. Right, and you are world, and I was going to say that. You do travel the world, and we have video of you actually doing it. And people are amazed by how quickly their I identity can be gone, their Absolutely. money, everything that you You know, if they for. steal your credit card plus an ID, let's say a driver license, immediately they can turn that into five, six, seven thousand mm. dollars simply by pretending to be you. All they need to do is to change the photo in that driver license. They can laminate it in the printer in the back of their car. It's done in two, three minutes. Yeah, I was about to say because they're quick. They know exactly what they're doing. Okay, so how do we avoid becoming a well, victim? Well, you know, how the first thing, safe? what I feel is important to understand, and I'm taking a couple of tools forward here because you have to remember that if they have the credit card, they can slide it through a contraption like this. This is a small skimmer. All that black material on the back of the credit card where mm -hmm. all your important information goes into this skimmer. Now they take a new blank card, a, a gift card, and they can re put all that information back into a new card and go out and use it. That means that. The skimmer is important for the bad guy, but the bad guy. They give it to a girl who works in a restaurant, in a club, in a bar scene, and there are 20 guests are coming through, and each time they slide it through the regular uh, terminal, they also slide it through this. How do you protect yourself? Well, I think that if you're traveling, the main thing to protect is your ID. If you're down in a hotel lobby, let's say in Barcelona or in Paris, don't use that free internet little lobby computer mm. if you're going back and doing any type of credit card information. Keep most of the imp important information on a small travel USB drive. This is a safety one because half of it is encrypted. So in order to get into the information, you have to have a password. Now imagine you have your passport information, your credit card, all of that here. You don't have to plug in the information. You simply copy and paste. That way they can't steal it. Finally, very important, what we call a double authentication device. This you get from the bank or from your, in, from your finance company. And when you go in to your account to sort of do a transaction, you have to put your password plus the numbers that pop up on this. You don't get it with any advertising, you have to call up and make the first initiative. How much does all this cost? A thing like this is not very expensive, maybe 25 bucks. It's basically a USB drive, but half of it is encrypted. So you can't get into that information unless you put in your password. That's why it's good. It's okay. when you travel around. So the cell phone is the main thing to protect because that's what they love, the iPhone yes. and the smartphone. And how quickly can they have that completely wiped, all of your stuff wiped out and their stuff in? Well, it depends on what the, what the format they're using, and different networks have different ways of getting into it. But, right. for example, an Android phone, it will take them maybe two minutes to get all of the information that is in that little SIM card. Mm -hmm. If they're really smart, they steal the entire card, drag it out, put it back in, give you the phone back. So we're in the airport or we're at the hotel. What should we be looking for? What should we be looking for to make you sure You should we're not, not be looking for the bad guys because you don't have any way of detecting them. Right. What you need to understand, the minute there's an open network. The minute it's a free network in the airport, how do you know that that network is given by the service provider? It could be a bad guy sitting down in mm -hmm. a Starbucks coffee with his own computer pretending to be, to be the you. free hot. And very quickly, who are, the, who are the targets? Who are the prime targets? People who are ignorant. The people who think that, hey, this is a free deal, I'm going to surf for nothing here, that is the Okay, target. and we don't think any of our employees are ignorant, but you swiped a wallet from one of our 
production assistants, and I'm going to pull. Who, whose wallet is this? Do we know? Neil. You, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know when he was, okay, we're going to show you Neil. He had no, he's running camera, one of our cameras today. Did you know he took it? No what? Idea. You did what not. What is his face color change? I don't <laughs> I understand that. Is he embarrassed? No. <laughs> okay. Do you, how do you feel right now? <laughs> yeah, I were speechless. Little, yeah, speechless. I had no idea. And he was, you just walked up to Neil and you were just casually having well, a conversation. Well, remember that there was a little brush. I had yes. my jacket off. I brushed into him. The, the jeans pocket that he has are pretty loose and easy. Thieves like that. The tighter your pocket, the harder it is. It's not whether you have it in the front or in the back. It's the shape of the pocket. Yeah. And believe this, it or not, Neil had this in the back pocket of his... In the hip pocket. On the hip pocket. What the thieves do, look, is the four corners. One, two, three, four. They call it the print of the money. If they see that that four corners are nice enough to get here and clip from the top, Bingo, they're going to go for it. All right, tight jeans and no four corners. That's going to be the <laughs> takeaway. You are delightful. And you have to, Thank again, you. we're having fun right now, but we know this is not a laughing matter. If you've been a victim of identity theft, you understand that. And we've got much more information from Bob, including those videos you just saw, on a link on our website, sonoranliving.com. Great advice. Thank you. Thank you.